as an example of blindly abandoning energy security. Here now is one of those experts, Steve Malloy, Senior Policy Fellow at the Energy and Environment Legal Institute. Steve, it's great to see you, and there's a couple of is issues to dig into here. First problem um, with Europe is uh, it's, it's wanting to transition to green energy so quickly, right, and the reliance on Russia as well. So now when the Russian supplies are, are in, um, in jeopardy, if you will, as a result of the conflict overseas, now the Europeans are, are in a lot of trouble. So let's talk about this climate transition aspect first, because that's what actually the administration's trying to do here and what so many people are worried about. Right. Hi, Jackie. Thanks for having me. So um, over the past 25 years, Europe has gone headfirst into climate, uh, replacing uh, their fossil fuel with wind and solar, and they're trying batteries, and it's been a total disaster. Uh, starting in 2021, the global energy, you know, wind failed in Europe, starting the global energy crisis. Uh, Joe Biden contributed to the global energy crisis by uh, intimidating fossil fuel producers in the U.S. Um, and then, uh, you know, a year later, Vladimir Putin invaded uh, Ukraine, which caused, you know, much more pain. And in fact, you know, Vladimir Putin's invasion was in large part aided by climate alarmism because, you know, by Europe switching out of fossil fuels into wind and solar, all they wound up doing was enriching and empowering Putin, which he took advantage of. Right. So this has been a total disaster. Europe is going into uh, recession. They're looking at a very dark winter. They're already, the industry is, is having to curtail operations. They're starting energy rationing. It's been a disaster. And we think that Republicans, when they take over Congress, hopefully in uh, January, should take a hard lesson from that. I mean, it's hard to believe that you have Europeans actually wondering how they're going to heat their homes as we head into the winter. As you mentioned, this dark winter that's forecast. One of the issues there uh, with respect to uh, the supplies that do come from Russia, that Europe, uh, EU oil embargo and gas embargo is going to go into effect around the end of the year. Um, and so literally the question is, well, well, where are they going to get the supplies that they need now? We're exporting a little natural gas over there, but certainly not enough because President Biden doesn't want to, you know, ramp up on what we're doing here at home. Um, and in the same token, I'll just put this out there as well, you've got Europe relying on Putin in some ways the way I see the United States relying on OPEC, right? And that backfires. Well, yeah, and even worse, you know, this Build Back Better package that passed, we're going to spend $369 billion on wind, solar, and EVs. All that's going to do is make us dependent on China. So the same way Europe became dependent on Russia and Vladimir Putin, we're going to become dependent on China and President Xi, and I don't think that's where we want to be. Right. It really is very concerning. Turning our attention back here at home, um, especially in the wake of Hurricane Ian down in Florida and, um, you know, Governor Newsom last, uh, the, within the last couple of weeks saying that, you know, Californians had to ease up on their, their energy usage, their um, electricity usage for their electric vehicles. You have a lot of people now questioning um, how quickly we're trying to make this transition and how quickly the administration is trying to push us forward, essentially saying we're really not ready with the technology and that this could really blow up to be a massive blunder. Well, that's very true. The technology is not ready. But we've seen Europe in action. Germany has spent more than $500 billion on wind and solar. And look where look where they are now. It's, it's a, a disaster coming. So, you know, we have, Congress has allocated now $369 billion for wind and solar batteries. Um, if we just sort of blindly waste that money, um, it, you know, we're going to put ourselves in the same situation. I think we, when the Republicans take control, they need to start figuring out ways to claw back some of that money and slow down that spending, because there is no plan to make net zero work. Net zero is their goal, no emissions. That's a really good point. All of that money going out the door, not necessarily sure what kind of return or how quickly it can produce a return. And then you've got gas prices once again on the rise here as forecast um, that going into the winter, we would see this bump in energy prices. And this is all coming from taxpayer dollars and the, taking their revenues right out of their pockets. That's right. And who's in charge of all the spending in the Biden administration? John Podesta, he's a political hack. He doesn't know how anything about wind and solar right. and and engineering and energy, and it's ridiculous. Steve, good to see you, sir. We'll have you on again soon. Thank you. Okay.